to the Wacom digitizer. Um, we call it, again, we call this the perfect 10. 10 hours of battery life, um, 10 inch screen, and 10 millimeters yeah. over to a manageable tablet. And I'm actually might start carrying that. I'm a PC guy and a phone guy, not a tablet guy. I may change that for a while and see if I, my goal is to see if I can do an entire business trip with the tablet. The tablet. So yeah, what sort of specs do you have on this? That's the neat thing. It runs just like a tablet. So it's two gig of, of memory with 32 or 64 gig of storage. And, but it runs as a system on a chip. It runs like a PC, right. even though it has specs like a tablet. Okay. And the storage is... Uh, this, one, this one is 64, 64. gig. Uh, with expansion? It does have expansion. There's a micro SD slot. That's great. And, well, I asked this for, for most tablets. Will it have an option for, for LTE or 3G? You know, we do have that. Um, so right now, we don't expect that to be in the U.S. Sure. Um, it is there. The hardware is there. In fact, on the ports, I do have, uh, let me see, where right here is the bay where I can do that. Mm -hmm. So the hardware is prepared to do that. This is my micro SD and my SIM slot. Mm -hmm. And here's what we found, though, um, for our other tablets. People are sharing their broadband connections. Mm -hmm. Since the United States and Canada are carrier-based in most of those shared plans, they aren't getting multiple different broadband accounts. Right rest of the world, like Europe, there'll be a broadband account almost everything. Mm -hmm. So, like yeah. yeah, so 